It's about that time of the year again. It's about that time where all your office small talk will finally be saved. It's time for fantasy football. Now I know that everybody on the internet and TV has their expertise and opinions. And as someone that has only won one fantasy football title, but has never lost and gotten last place and had to do a punishment, I feel like I'm the best qualified to give fantasy football advice. One, no Patriot skill players. The Patriot way will always get in your way. Never forget that. Rule number two, when drafting and when you're at the bar, ask for the Wi-Fi password and then tell your other friends that the bar doesn't have Wi-Fi. It's time to see what data plan everyone really has in your league. Step number three, don't do too much research. Think about the person that does the most research in your league. Aren't they annoying? If you're stuck between who to draft and who to pick up off of waivers, pick the person with a cooler name. Your team name will thank you for it later. I said don't listen to me. Why are you still here? Yes. No, maybe, are you in a 32 team league? If you have a favorite team, don't draft a team on your rival. It's hard to prey on the Steelers downfall while also secretly wishing that George Pickens has a good day. If you know the name of three running backs on the same team, stay away. I know you're really good at the immaculate grid, but you're gonna have a bad time. Um, immaculately bad time. If their quarterback is asked and on their skill players, you must pass. And lastly, you can draft a player on your favorite team as long as the franchise doesn't have historically down bad vibes. Think about your favorite team. Maybe.